morning everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome for today's video i thought i would kind of do a complete morning routine get ready with me show you guys what i do in the morning so it is around 9 30 right now i normally wake up around 9 9 30 depends sometimes i go to an 8 a.m workout today i'm not working out it's one of my days off i've actually only worked out once this week it wasn't a good week but i'm going to show you guys what i do when i don't work out in the morning and then if i do work out i'll just do this when i get home from my workout i like getting ready first thing in the morning i find that it sets the tone for my whole day and then also if i have to like run out and do anything or if last minute plans come up i am ready to go it makes me feel better so i'm going to walk you through my everyday hair routine how i curl my hair i'm going to show you guys how i make myself look a little bit more presentable and kind of just walk you through my whole routine so like i said 9 30 right now um the first thing i do whenever i wake up is make my bed So once I'm done making my bed, which I always do because if you start your day with something productive, you're going to be productive throughout the entire day. I always find that if I come home to an unmade bed, it like puts a damper on my mood. So I always like to have a made bed. Once I go down, I go and get my water. I have my coffee. I take my vitamins. So yeah, let's go head downstairs. Can we just take a moment to admire how stunning this table is? I admire it every morning when I come down the stairs. I'm obsessed with it. The first thing I do every morning is fill my cup with water, like I said. I just have this Brita. I got it at Walmart. It makes my life so easy, and I know I always have filtered water. Now that I have my water already, I go in and I take a pack of vitamins for the day. Ever since I started using Care-of, my life has been made a billion times easier. First of all, look how cute the little dispenser is with your monthly supply of vitamins. And then every day your pack of vitamins is all ready for you. So I'll tell you guys the vitamins that I take. And then every day there's a fact on the packet. And today's fact is that since its debut in December 1989, The Simpsons has aired over 660 episodes and it's the longest running TV show in history. And that's a really interesting fact because for a while, Allie and I my sister and I were really really obsessed with the Simpsons and in case you're wondering about waste these little packets are actually all compostable so you're not harming the environment I'm really excited that I'm actually partnering with Kara for this portion of today's video as you guys know I've been on like a little bit of a health kick recently and one of the things I wanted to do was start taking vitamins because if I'm being honest I don't really have the most well-rounded diet. Sometimes I'll only eat dinner and when I do, it's like really rushed. And I know for a fact I'm not getting all of the nutrients I need. So one of the things that I wanted to do was start taking vitamins. There's one main reason why I've never taken vitamins and that's honestly because I didn't know where to start. Like I wanted to take something for my hair and my skin and my bones and my heart and I just didn't know where to start and it's overwhelming. There's so much information online and care of just makes it so easy and you just literally have to open up your little packet and take it. When I show these on Instagram, I got a lot of questions about what I'm taking. So I'm gonna tell you um, what's in my little vitamin packet when you actually get the box you get a little booklet that explains what you're taking and why you're taking it so i'm taking b complex for my hair rhodiola i think that's how you say it for your energy calcium plus for your bones astaxanthin for your skin i don't I don't know how to say that. Vitamin C for your fitness and fish oil for your heart. I feel like I've got my whole body covered in this little packet. Basically, all you need to do is go on to the Care of website. You take a quick five minute quiz and then based on your answers to the quiz, Care of will suggest the vitamins that you need for your dietary requirements and your lifestyle. I'll leave the link where you can take the quiz and check out Care of down below in the description box. You can use my code. I will leave it in the description box to get 30% off your first order. It's not an affiliate link. It's just to save you guys some money. And this is the second thing I do in the morning. I do it every single morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these very quickly. Alrighty, so once I have all of my vitamins for the day and I'm taking care of my skin and my hair and my bones and my heart and all of the things that I've really been neglecting before this, 
time for coffee because you know I can't start my day without a good cup of coffee. In case you're wondering, that's my favorite coffee. I always do strong and the biggest cup, of course. Got this mug while I was in Japan. I remember, I think it was like $25, like something ridiculous. Coffee's done. I always add French vanilla creamer. It's like my one weakness. Okay, you guys, it's time to go deal with this hot mess and make myself look a little bit more presentable. Alrighty, so we're sitting down. We're going to do my hair, my makeup. I haven't done a get ready with me in a long time, so that's what this is gonna be. I'm gonna catch you up on some things while I show you my go-to everyday makeup look recently and also my hair, because I've been getting a lot of questions. This is air dried. I actually washed it last night and I air dried it because I didn't want it to take a billion years today. This is actually my first time filming in this room since it's no longer my bedroom. Room. I've turned it into my filming room, closet, and all of that, and it's so nice having so much more space. You guys don't even understand. Definitely expect more videos from me just because I won't have to like literally rearrange my whole house every time I want to film a video. Let's tackle this mess. We're starting with the hair. For a long time, I was a huge advocate for T3, and I still do love T3. Their price ranges are a little bit up there. But recently my T3 iron broke. I don't know why, it would never go past level one of like heat, so it never got hot enough for me. I went out, instead of buying a whole new T3, because you know, I although I do like it, it is a little bit expensive, it's a little bit pricey. My best friend, Nolan, hair by Nolan on Instagram, the person who does my extensions. If you wanna know what color my extensions are and how he does it, it was actually in my last vlog. I'll leave a link down below. He uses this curling iron on me. It's a Hot Tools Extra Long One Inch Curling Iron. You can create really beachy waves or you can create more curls. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I do the curls just because that's what I get asked for the most. Also, I picked a huge chunk of skin, I know, disgusting, off of my lip the other day. So if you see like a little thing in the middle of my lip, that's what that is. I prefer to air dry my hair just because blow drying it takes a minute. Like it literally, it takes a really long time. And also um, I don't have a blow dryer at the moment. When my mom left, she took her blow dryer. I need to get around to getting one. I do my hair in two sections. You can see the extensions all on the side. Maybe I should stand up so you can see better. The hair is so long, it doesn't even, you can't even see all of it. So I brush it through just to make sure there's no knots in it. I take sections around this big and all I do is wrap it around. Having an extra long barrel is like a lifesaver. Um, and yeah, this is basically what I do all around my head. I'll put on a song. Once both of the sides are done and I have the curls how I want them, I'll go ahead and let the top down. Sometimes curls can get messed up or I'll forget a piece. So I like going through, like what the heck is that? I like going through and kind of making sure everything looks good. We will brush it out, just not yet. I like letting the curls completely dry, dry, cool. Before I brush it out, this is what my hair looks like very curly once it's all kind of cooled i'll go through and just brush it out and because i just did it and it's first day hair it's gonna get very puffy but it'll settle down by the time like i'm done my makeup i'll just go through very lightly and brush it on the top this is a gizu oil that much that's how i do my hair every single day that's gonna settle down now let's tackle this face all right so today i need to do my eyebrows so you're doing that with me i also need to shave my mustachio so to do my eyebrows i just use these little razors i actually got these at winners and they're perfect they're so easy i shave my entire face some people don't like doing that some people think it actually ruins their skin I personally love shaving my face. For my eyebrows, what I'll do is I'll brush them up with a spoolie. These are really sharp, so you don't need a lot of pressure. When I do underneath, I like to pull my eyebrow up and just shave downwards. I also like to cut off like a lot of my under eyebrow, because then it'll, when you draw your eyebrow on, you can kind of give yourself 
an eyebrow lift, which is something I like doing instead of getting Botox. You know what? I'm doing this very far from the mirror. I'm probably gonna end up shaving off half my eyebrow, but that's fine. So that looks pretty good. We just needed a touch up. If I were to be like shaving my whole face, which I probably should be, but I'm lazy right now, I just do this. And you can see like the hairs coming off. So on my face right now, I just have my face moisturizer, which is the Lotus Youth Preserve face cream, which I really do like. I always, always start by putting on primer and I don't go a day without using my Huda Beauty Nymph. It's my absolute favorite primer. I get asked about my foundation all of the time and I've recently found like the best combination in the world. It is NARS Sheer Glow. I actually just had to get a new bottle in the shade Barcelona. There's nothing like a new fresh bottle of foundation. And then I mix it with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade eight. And then I also mix that with a little moisturizer. I like mixing it with moisturizer because I find it lasts better throughout the day. I'm using a campfire fan as a palette to mix my foundation on. So you know what? You don't need to buy those expensive glass makeup palettes. Just buy a campfire fan. I don't even know why I have this. If I'm being honest, I'll go in with some face cream, put it on and I'll mix it with my finger. And then I'm just gonna start patting it in with my e.l.f beauty sponge. We're not gonna look like the Tin Man anymore. I don't know if it's frustrating that I don't put my hair up while I'm doing my makeup, but I, I'm the type of person that like, I need my hair to be the exact way I'm wearing it while I do my makeup. Like I need to wear the shirt I'm wearing while I do my makeup, just so like it changes. Like if I'm wearing a ponytail and I take my hair down, my face changes. So I have to put my hair the way I'm gonna be wearing it because if I'm wearing straight hair, I do my makeup differently. I'm a psycho. So like I said, this is my first time filming in my new beauty fashion office closet space. So my mom, like I said in the in my vlog, in case you haven't watched it, moved out. She moved out not because of anything like dramatic. She literally just like we needed more space. So she decided that she was gonna move out because I love this condo, it's a two floor condo and it's perfect. It's just enough space for moi. It was a little cramped when we were two people. But with that being said, she took all of her furniture when she left. That means I had to go furniture shopping. So furniture shopping turned out to be very expensive, but I can't wait to do like a little house tour because I'm obsessed with all of my furniture. If you watch my vlogs, you could kind of see what I've been buying. Other than Shape Tape, my favorite concealer for every day is the Born This Way Concealer. I use the color Light Beige. It's like the best color ever. It's literally either I wear no makeup at all, like when I go to the gym, or if I'm just like, if I'm just running out the door to go like to the grocery store, I won't throw on a full face of makeup. But like in the morning, if I know I have stuff to do, do during the day or I'm filming or I know I'm gonna be like going out for dinner or something, this is my makeup look. And it stays on all day and I feel really good in it. Things haven't changed that much. I just have picked up like a few new products that I wanna talk about. I feel like I haven't talked about makeup in a long time and I have some really fun makeup videos coming. For my cream contour, I've actually been really loving this one. The Smashbox Studio Skin with Foundation and Contour. I don't use the foundation because it's just a little bit too creamy for me. I really like the color of this contour though. So I'll go in and just put it where I like to contour. I do this because then I don't have to apply as much bronzer. Put on my lip. And then on my jaw, I don't contour my nose with this just because I never can get a really nice contour on my nose when I use cream products. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush from NYX and blend it out. So now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just Make sure everything is well blended. Alrighty, for face powder, I'm gonna be mixing the Charlotte Tilbury face powder with the Jeffree Star face powder. I really, really like this um, Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm almost out of it, actually. This Jeffree Star powder in Topaz is a little bit yellow, but when I mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury, which is what I'm doing right now, you just 
can't see it. I don't really like the Jeffree Star concealer, but their powder is really good. It actually kind of reminds me of the Huda powder, which is quite funny since doesn't Jeffrey hate Huda for like no reason? I don't know. I don't keep up with YouTube drama. Oh, forgot. I forgot. I do something new. I'm going to go in with a setting powder. This is just the Laura Mercier press setting powder. And I'm going to set first like my under eyes with this on my sponge. And it just really gives like a flawless, flawless look and makes your makeup last all day. I do it along my jaw as well. Anywhere I'm going to bake, I put this powder first and it just allows the bake to sit on your skin super smoothly. Now I'm going in with the bake and I do bake every day. You can skip this step. I honestly wish I could walk around like this. I don't know why, I just really love the look. I bake a lot along my jaw because I have a raindrop shaped face and I want to bring this part of my face out to make it look more oval. To do my brows, I brush them up with a spoolie and then I take my favorite brow product, which is the brow blade, but I actually prefer not the like pen part. So I've gone through three of these and I've really only ever used this part, it's waterproof, it's super creamy, and I just really, really like it. What I like doing, if you wanna give the illusion of a brow lift, just draw them a little bit above where you would normally or where your brow normally goes. I'm gonna draw it kind of straight, lift the top a little bit to give the illusion of a brow lift. Simple as that, you can save hundreds of dollars getting Botox. Sometimes I look in the mirror like far away and my eyebrows like up here and I'm like, okay, you need to chill. Then I take the felt side sometimes depending on how much time I have and I go in and I draw the strokes, like the hair strokes, but not all the time. Sometimes I just go in with the other side depending on how much time I have, but it really does make it look more natural. These brows are like not even friends. Like they're so different. Okay. I'm gonna come in with some brow gel from Benefit because I can't find my Glossier. I've been getting a lot of questions, I don't know why, about my eye makeup. And all I literally had on, especially in my KKW video and my Kenzie video, all I had on was bronzer. Like I didn't even have a shimmer on my eye. But basically what I've been doing is taking like a clear, or a powder that has like a little color to it and putting that on my lid and my whole kind of what is it called? Eye area, just to kind of mute it out and create a clean canvas, so they say. Literally all I do is go into Hoola from the Cheap Leaders Bronze Palette, and what you wanna do is kind of go in at an angle, and I kind of like to also create the illusion of like a higher brow bone. Something else I started doing was I stopped connecting it to the bottom, and I literally just put it on my brow bone for every day. If I'm going for a more intense look, I will. For this, I'm using a MAC 217. I prefer a more densely packed brush rather than like a fluffier blending brush to apply the color. Then I'll go in with a fluffier brush to blend it out. But where I want the color to go, I apply it with a denser brush. I also like darkening it up. This is from Wonder 2 High Tech Beauty. It's the Super State Liner in Essential Brown. You have to make it nice and sharp when you apply it because otherwise it gets all messy and you want it to look as perfect as possible. I start by creating a little wing. This is very important. Then I'll go in and just kind of line the top. And as usual, it's very important to also bring it into your inner corner. Not like that. That looks terrible. I used to spend so much time obsessing over my makeup. If something went wrong, like an eyebrow, I'd wipe it off and restart. And now I'm just like, what the heck ever, like no one is looking at your makeup. They're probably not even gonna notice the little thing you're obsessing about, like I just messed this part up and normally I'd like get a Q-tip and clean it up and I'm, now I'm just like, move on. There's bigger things in life. I love this eye pencil, it's just so flipping creamy. Once that's done, I go in and instead of like wiping off my bake, I kind of press it in at first just to make sure to like to really brighten. And then even here, I kind of really press it in 
to brighten up the area. This eyeliner is going a little wonky, but that, what do you expect? It's my bad eye. For my nose contour, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M456 brush, and I'm gonna go in with Hoola Bronzer. I'm gonna go down the sides on both sides, but not all the way to the end, which is a mistake I used to make. I used to make my nose look super long because I would contour it right to the tip of the end. I'm gonna go under and kind of lift it. I go around the nostril like that. Then I go in with my blender and take the rest of the powder and kind of use that powder to blend in the lines. Unless I'm going for that look, I no longer put black on mascara under my eyes. Instead, I'm gonna go in with a mix of Hoola and Hoola Caramel and kind of pack that on under mostly at the edge and I also drag it all along the bottom and I honestly don't even miss the mascara and I feel like it gives me a more everyday look instead of having like so much mascara on all around my eye. I'm running out of all of my favorite mascaras but I still love this one. It's the Essence Triple Black Mascara. I need to get a refill of my Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I know this may seem like this whole look may seem excessive for every day, but I seriously can do it in like not even 25 minutes. I don't even know how much time not doing bottom <laughs> mascara saves. I got a lot of questions about this lip combo. This is the KKW Lip Liner in Nude 5. I'm actually gonna wipe off what I have on now. Did I say Nude 5? Nude 1.5. Got on. And I kind of fill it in in the corners and along the border. I didn't even put bronzer on yet. I go in with my favorite lip gloss of all time, which I actually just reordered. It's a Glossier lip gloss. I ordered it and they also released two new colors. They released one with like sparkles in it. So you know, your girl had to get that. Then I go in with my favorite lipstick, which still hasn't changed. This is Nude Kate. For bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with the Cheek Leaders palette and mix the two. And I'm using, what is this? A Morphe M527. I don't have a code for you guys, but I'm sure you can find one elsewhere. Now in terms of blush, no, last time, that caused a disaster. <gasps> what the fuck just happened? Oh my God, what did I just do with, what did I just do to myself? I'm gonna go in with NARS Orgasm and just put a little on the apple of my cheeks. Alrighty you guys, so that is it for my get ready with me morning routine. After I do this, I'll either film a video or I will head over to the Signe office or I'll walk a few steps to the CNC office. If I'm going to meetings or I'm meeting with someone or I'm going to lunch with a friend or I'm going shopping, this is the look I do every single day. I know you've seen it over and over, but every few months I like redoing it so you can see the products I'm using. If you wanna see a current favorites video, let me know because I have so many more products I've been loving that I didn't use in this video and more lifestyle things. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, every single thing I used in this video will be linked down below. Don't forget to use my code to get 30% off of Kara. Thank you once again, Kara, for sponsoring a portion of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for three new videos every single week. I'm trying my best to get back on schedule but for now I can guarantee three new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you with my whole heart and I will see you back here next time.